Hi, my name is Tiana. I'm a, I'm a sophomore from Lincoln Southeast. Hey, hi. And this is titled, I Wanna Be Homeschooled. Mom, I wanna be homeschooled. Not because I have to wake up before Jesus and the roosters or because the meat here is mystery meat. It's because the first question I'm asked before my name is what my race is. Not what grade I'm in or how old are you. As if they're ready for me to say my ethnicity so they can decide whether or not I can sit at their lunch table or if I'm worthy enough to talk to. The icebreaker question that does not want to be broken, this question is forced upon me like some multiple choice question on a test, but this time I cannot just circle C. I cannot move on and come back when I feel comfortable answering. Asking me about, asking me about my race is like asking the lunch lady what's in the meat. She'd love to reply and say, shut up and just eat it, but instead she has to answer and say, it's just cow. So like lunch lady, I force myself to say it and say, I'm black and white. Mama, I just want to be homeschooled. My skin color fits in at home. I walk the halls full of black, white, Hispanic, or Asian people that don't understand what's going on through our heads, but no one understands what a biracial kid goes through. Fitting in is hard enough, but finding friends who understand what it's like to be black and white, it's hard, Mom. Believe me, it's hard. I never know what table to sit at, the one that makes me feel bad for acting white or the one that makes me feel bad for acting black. The one that thinks the N-word pass is a thing and I could give them, and I could grant them the opportunity to say it as if I'm some magical genie. But what they fail to understand is that word still has an effect on my people to this day. Or the ones that hate me for shirting my hair. Mama, I just want to be homeschooled. I can hear you saying it now, a statement that will leave my lip quivering. This is just something you're going to have to deal with. But how do I deal with not being comfortable in my own skin? My skin isn't something you could just take off and change. My skin is something you could just flip the pencil and erase. So tell me, Mom, how do I feel comfortable?